Well, thank you, you very much for uh, having me here and thank you for the, the, the previous speakers for their excellent presentation. It was really inspiring. I will take it to a much more practical uh, level, namely the use of sensors to in circular economies. And uh, well, Marijn already mentioned it, the need for metrics. And I think there is the linking pin for my speech. So let me share my screen and um yeah you can see my screen now yes yes we can see okay. it so i will talk about the use of sensor technology in uh, in circular agriculture uh as already said my name is chris van beek and i work as a chief agronomist at agrocares um and when we talk about shifting from linear to circular uh, uh, agriculture well it was already uh, mentioned we go from a linear system with, uh, of disposal and incineration to a circular system where there is much more use of uh, renewals. Um, my talk focuses on agriculture. And when we look at the agricultural system, there is often, it's often seen as a circularity of soil, plant, animal and manure. So plants take their nutrients from the soil, they convert it into biomass, which is consumed by animals who produce manure, the manure is applied to the soil, etc. That, in a sense, is a circular system. However, uh, oh, go to the next slide. During each step, there are losses. Uh, from the soil to the plant, you may have leaching, uh, at the uh, animal proce uh, processes, there are losses, there are gaseous losses, uh, there are runoff losses, there are leaching losses. And uh, for that reason, there is not or not sufficient circularity. When we try to improve that system, we want to know whether these flows are properly managed. So we want to check uh, flows and balances at every production step. So we want to know uh, to what extent uh, nutrients and carbon are sequestered or stored within the soil and what part of that is consumed by the plant, by the animal and converted into manure, etc. And of course, there is consumption in this, uh, uh, in this, this drawing. Now, where can sensor technology help in this circular system? And that is where we come in. And I, I brought it here. Um, so what we do at AgroCares is we develop uh, inno innovations to determine uh, carbon and nutrient contents in organic product on the spot within a few minutes. I'll, I'll explain a little bit about it, but I have it here with me. Very simple. There is a near, near infrared sensor here and it connects via Bluetooth to an app on your smartphone. And with this device, we can measure the uh, flows and, 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 and status of the soil, the plant, the animal, and the manure. So at every step in the circular system, there is a check and a balance in place. A few words about our innovation. Uh, it was first introduced to the Kenyan market in 2017. Um, and it's on the field. So you take it to the field and within 10 minutes you have your results and it's used for monitoring during the crow seasons and uh, it's on the spot. It has a near infrared sensor and we have multiple applications for different purposes and countries. And uh, we have different applications. I'll show one and they can also be customized and what it determines are macronutrients, organic carbon, pH, and texture. Within a nutshell, how does sensor technology work? Well, there is a lot going on in sensor technology, but basically what you need is four components of what we call an operational system. Obviously, you need an, an, a sensor. So there is a lot of innovations going on in sensor technology, but basically you need to have an, 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 a, a sensor that is, is robust and easy to use. A sensor in itself measures a, spect a, a spectral image. That doesn't tell you much about nutrients contents or carbon contents in, in, in masses. 
Therefore, you need to have databases and algorithms to convert these database readings into the data you're interested in. Um, the databases are really the heart of our organizations. They contain 17,000 samples in our reference laboratory analyzed for spectral sig uh, signals and at the conventional laboratory, our reference laboratory. So for 17,000 samples, we have analyzed on our conventional laboratory and in our spectral laboratory. We call that the right chemistry. Then you have these data set and then you have to have the, the algorithms to convert these readings into uh, the nutrient data. Uh, we do that by using uh, machine learning and deep learning techniques. Then you have your data and then you need to convert it into a, an expert application. That is how you report the information to the user. So that is the interpretation of data. Um, what is unique in our case is that we have all those four elements in one operational system. And I'm not going in too much detail about how it works, but in a nutshell, you take the scanner to the field, you measure, well, what is of your interest. Um, by clicking it, it connects via Bluetooth to the app on the smartphone. So the spectral signal is sent to the smartphone. The smartphone makes connections to our databases in the cloud where and our algorithm, it's converted into the data of the uh, uh, specific applications and then you receive soil data and depending on the applications also fertilizer recommendations. So we have different apps for different services and needs and also for the circular uh, agricultural systems we uh, are developing apps uh, for, for to determine uh, nutrient and carbon contents in soil, in leaves, in manure, um, so to cover the entire system. We recently launched what we call the carbon monitor application, which is really designed to determine carbon contents on the spot. So it has never been so easy. You can just take the scanner to the field, you click and you know the carbon contents. Now imagine what kind of impact that can have if you immediately know the carbon contents, um, in this case your soil, but the same applies for the other uh, elements, for, uh, for manure, for, uh, uh, um, uh, for crops. And then how could that look like? And now if I'm lucky, yeah. So we are, as I said, we uh, uh, introduced the first scanner in 2017 in uh, Kenya. We now have a network of scanners all over the world. We are active in 25 countries and all these organizations, they collect data on, in this case, soil quality, but we recently added also feed quality. So with this data, we can come to a better definition or at least monitor what is happening and uh, um, to what extent it is circular, because that was also pre uh, mentioned already by the previous presenters. Um, there is no single definition of circularity. So when do we call something circular? Well, in my view, you can also have a discussion about what is the, to what extent is something circular if you have some metrics in place. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So um, it's a fully digital solution to monitor, monitor flows and carbon and nutrients um, in the circular economy. Um, and I think it helps to manage, manage and thereby, uh, it helps to, to measure and thereby manage your production system. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>